Percy from Peacocks and Pearls and one of the girls from The Knitters are here. I just wanted to come to you um, from my home studio um, just to give you a breakdown of the different items I still have available in the shop if you're looking for last minute Christmas gifts. Um, so I'm going to break down and show you what I have available in my Etsy shop and the things that are not in the Etsy shop but are available, um, you can send me an email if it's something that you're looking for and I'll let you know if it's still available or if it's sold and if you still want it and it is sold, I can probably make you one. However, um, keep in mind I do work full time and the likelihood of me getting it to you by Christmas is pretty slim at this point. Um, officially, the cutoff for Christmas orders is Monday. Um, the date for Monday, I have to look that up because I don't know it off the top of my head. I'm pretty lucky that I know what today is. So Monday's date is December 16th. So that is the last uh, day that I will take orders to get them to you by Christmas. Uh, I am mailing all orders at this point. I am no longer doing any local drop-offs. Um, just because my work schedule has um, surpassed my ability to keep up. So let me just break things down for you and show you what I have already knit up, ready to go, and available. Um, I'll start with hats, since that seems to be the biggest um, requested item at this point. I make a hat called the Vermonter. It is in the Etsy shop, so if you'd like it, just head on over there. It's Peacocks and Pearls. Etsy.com and pearls is P U R L S. Um, so this is called the Vermonter hat. I am not the designer of any of these objects. Um, in the Etsy shop, it lists the designer of this particular hat and she calls it the Vermonter, but I made it for you. So this is it in olive green. It's thick, it's chunky, it's got this cute floppy palm um, and it does lay really nice so this is in olive green I also have it ready made in one of my favorite colors uh, this is in I guess it's not really mustard but it's in that family so and I have one of this exact hat in this exact color made up for myself so <laughs> it's just so floppy and chunky. So, this is in mustard. My very favorite. And the last one that I already have made up and ready to go is in this rust color. So, this one's a little bit longer, a little chunkier, kind of like the olive green one. Um, so, yeah. So these three are knit up, ready to go, ready to ship. So if you're interested, either go to Etsy and order it there. If it's sold out, send me an email. It's peacocksandpearl at gmail.com, singular, um, P-U-R-L. So peacocksandpearl at gmail.com. Um, this one I most recently made, it's featured in Instagram. It is not in the shop, so if you do want this hat, you will have to um, send me an email and let me know. But this is in charcoal, and it's just a big, chunky hat with an extremely large pom-pom. So the pom-pom is massive. I mean, it's almost <laughs> the size of a small baby's head. But it's big, and it's chunky. And that's that one. The other that I have available that is not in the Etsy shop is the March hat. There are other photos of it on my Instagram page. But this is not as chunky, not as thick in my favorite color, however. Um, but it's got this nice detail on the pattern, if you can see that. And it's got a large brim, and it comes down all over the ears. 
And that's that hat. So those are all adult hats that I have available. Um, right now, actually I have a couple others. So I have this, which I do believe is in the Etsy shop. Um, it's a textured watch cap. So it has a foldable brim and it's the same throughout. So you can leave it unfolded and it could be, you know, very slouchy. Or you can fold the brim and have it less slouchy. I think guys would wear it more like this. But it's got detail in the hat itself. It's a neat pattern. And it's kind of a mushroom brown, I guess you'd say. I also have one of the slouchy hats from last year that was a huge hit in brown. So this is definitely a dark chocolate brown and its pattern is smooth. And technically you could wear it reversible, but I really like this side. So it is a slouchy hat. So when you put it on, you get it where you want it. And then you just kind of ruche the back and slouch it. So This is also in my Instagram. So if you're looking for it, that's one of the places that it can be found. It is not in the shop, so you'll have to send me an email. I also have this hat, which is can be a child's hat. Or if you want something that doesn't quite go over the ear and is a lot snugger, it's a skull cap. Uh, it is in chocolate and it is made with uh, part alpaca. So it does have alpaca in it. So if you're allergic to fiber, um, that might be something you want to think about. But because it's alpaca, it is super soft. So you could use this as a child. You see how it, it comes not quite over the ear. So that's a hat available. And that is in my Etsy shop. So just a couple more hats, um, light blue. I have one for myself in an orange color that I wear um, out running or hiking. It's, um, it's not really chunky, but it is a very dense fabric. Um, and it's just meant to come just to cover the ear without a whole lot, so it's fitted very fitted right to the head and it's great because there's just not a lot of extra if you're out hiking or, or backpacking but so that's that hat and I have one very similar in green it's such a pretty green uh, the brim of this one is significantly higher than the blue um, these are in the Etsy shop, so, but they both fit the same. So if you want that, that's in the Etsy shop, just go check it out, jocksandpearls.etsy.com. Uh, the other things that I have are a few cowls. Cowls are um, C-O-W-L-S. They are meant to be worn like a scarf without actually having all the length um, that a scarf has. So it's circular, um, like an infinity scarf, and it just tucks in around the neck. And so you could wear it during the day at work or going out. And then when you go to leave and it's windy and cold and blustery, you just kind of fold it and put your coat on and it keeps your chest nice and warm. So, yeah. That's one cowl. It's in the Etsy shop. 
I have another cowl. This one's crocheted and not knit, but it is multiple colors and it's thinner. It's um, an acrylic, so it'll keep you warm. You can wash it. It's a little floppier, but it goes good with my red shirt. Look at that. Cool. But it's got a lot of warm and some cool colors in there, so great for fall. Looks good. Like it. And then I have an all gray one called the Shelby Shawl. Like my niece is named Shelby, so I named it for that. Um, but it's gray. And it's just very understated. Great for winter. And I also have another crochet, which is an orange ruff. So same idea, yeah, it's chunky, it's warm, there's all kinds of ways you can wear them, just use your imagination. Similar color, this version is a little bit longer, this one is hand knit. And it's more of a rusty orange, but it's a little longer of a circle. And so it comes down a little farther. Um, if you're small enough, you could probably twist it twice. Um, if you gave it to like a teenager for Christmas. And the same one in a little less chunky of a fabric the same pattern. This one's in a beautiful plum. So the same idea. And the only other thing that I have that you can wear around your neck isn't necessarily a winter color or winter item, but you could definitely wear it this time of year, especially especially sitting in a cold office. So this is a shawl. You can find this on my Instagram page. Um, you need to send me an email if it's something you want to purchase. But the way you wear this is to just twist it around the back of your neck and flop it over. So it's very, it's a very lightweight uh, yarn. It's a superwash merino wool. So you can wash this um, in the washing machine. I would just lay it flat to dry um, because it will grow and stretch as you wash it. Um, but this is great to wear, you know, with a sweater or something if you're cold at the office. It's also great to wear in the spring and the early summer when it's because it's very lightweight. Um, so you can wear it in a range of ways. Um, if your shoulders are cold, you could just pull it over your shoulders like that. So it's an option if you don't want heavy and bulky. And then the other thing that I have going on right now are baby items. So if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see them. Um, right now, none of them are in the shop. It's all custom orders. So people are asking for these. And so I'm making them up as requested. So this is a child's hat. It comes in, in a range of sizes. This is uh, designed by Tin Can Knits. And it's got this amazing little pearl side. So you would wear it offset. But this is a child's size, probably age six to nine months. Again, if you watch us, our podcast on The Knitters Are Here, the most recent one, um, I don't have any children, so I'm not quite sure on the sizes, but that is the size that's written for the pattern. And to go with it, I made these little booties. They're little ballerina type slippers. So this will also be a six to nine month, maybe a six to 12. They have the little 
tie that you can tie them around their little ankle and just loosen it so that they're snug. This one I double tied. So those are available. Um, email me. These have not been spoken for yet. I do have a couple other orders for other people. Um, but right now that's about all I have that's ready-made. Uh, most everything else I've been making as orders are coming in and those are either um, coming in through email um, or you can send them to me private through messenger or if you know me personally and have my phone you can send me a text um, and how it generally works is you message me and let me know what you're looking for if I have it made I'll ship it right out if I don't remember that I work full-time Monday through Thursday sometimes Friday um, I work long hour days so when I get home that's my knitting time um, so I might only be able to knit a few hours every evening um, but I will let you know uh, about how long it should take me if you have a deadline let me know that um, and I'll let you know if I can even get it to you by then uh, I will invoice you via PayPal and then I will ship it to you uh, right now for the month of December shipping is free that's on me um, that's for Christmas. I'm just, I'm not going to bogey with shipping. Um, but if there's something that you like and it's not in the Etsy shop, again, just send me an email to peacocksandpearl at gmail.com. Um, and if there's something that you didn't see that you would like and you wonder if I can make it, just send me an email or a message somehow and let me know if you've seen the pattern and you want to know if I can make it. More than likely, if there's a pattern, yes, I can. Uh, I had a lady that messaged me uh, about a couple hats for her child, and she sent me a pattern, and the pattern was available, so I purchased the pattern and made her this hat. It's so cute. Look. So this is a little dinosaur hat. Um, it's got this incredible little scaled pattern. So it looks like dinosaur scales. And these little... Oh, it's cute. I'm trying to see if they make an adult size because I think I might want one in purple and mustard because you know I'm a big kid too so this is gonna go out to her it's my Christmas present to her so um, yeah if you see something that you wonder if I can do it just send me a photo uh, if you find the pattern let me know send me that and I'll make it for you so if you need anything, just let me know. Again, the deadline for getting anything to you by Christmas has to be in by Monday, December 16th. Um, after that, I can't guarantee that anything will get done in time. Um, and if you already have your order in and it's a big project and it might take me a bit of time, I still might not be able to get it in um, and finished in time. Remember, I do hand knit these. It does take me several hours. I enjoy every minute of it. And I take my time because it is a it is a work of art. And if you want something and you haven't seen it, just send me a message and let me know and I'll get it to you. Have a great Christmas. Bye.